<laughs> I'm Eli Stugas. I'm a 12th grade senior at Soto Academy. I'm Mariana Velasquez. I'm a 12th grader. Uh, I'm Nicholas Carr. I'm also a 12th grader. Uh, my name is Gael Toscano, and I'm a senior at Soto too. All right. All right, so the purpose of our project is to understand how crumple zones and cars work and how we can improve crumple zones and create a, safe, a safer system in the event of a car crash. In a car crash, the kinetic energy of the speed of the car transfers throughout the whole chassis of the car, including the cabin where the passengers are. And so in order for a crumple zone to be effective, it has to be abs as absorbent as possible of that kinetic energy. That way the people in the car feel less of the kinetic energy in the car crash. Uh, here's our final iteration of the crumple zone and which we believe would be the most optimal design for a uh, car crash. Uh, the way it works is that we hit it head on and the energy gets distributed through these channels and pushed into the sides and it reduces the amount of kinetic energy pushed onto the passengers as possible. Yeah. Thank you.